welcome back students how are you all today we are going to continue the lesson unit 13 multiplication and division 3 in the previous lesson you learned how to multiply the numbers by using grid method here we are going to discuss about expanded return method of multiplication for example 362 multiplied by 8 Before doing the multiplication you need to be confident with the multiplication table and multiplying by 10 and 100 here 362 multiplied by 8 you know the multiplication table 8 8 times 2 is 16 so you have to write 16 in the first row the next number is 6 6 is in the tens place So the place value of six is sixty. So in the next step, you need to multiply eight by sixty. Eight times sixty is four hundred and eighty. Then write in the next row. Take the next number. It is three. Three is in the hundred place. So the value of three is three hundred. So next to do the multiplication three hundred by eight. Eight multiply three hundred is two thousand four hundred. Write in the third row. Sixteen four hundred and eighty two thousand four hundred are called the partial product. To find out the final answer, you have to add these all answers or all the partial products together. Sixteen plus four hundred and eighty plus two thousand four hundred. It is two thousand eight hundred and ninety six. Here you can see two different multiplication by using expanded return method. Multiplying fifty six by twenty seven. Both are two digit numbers. When you are multiplying, first multiply by the unit place number, then multiply by the tens place number. So fifty six multiply by twenty seven. The unit place number is seven, and the tens place number we can write two. So the place value of two is twenty. So when we are doing the multiplication, first to do fifty six multiply by seven, then fifty six multiply by twenty. First six times seven or seven times six is forty two. Write in the first row. Then five times seven, five is in the tens place. So the place value of five is fifty. So we can take fifty times seven. Fifty times seven is three hundred and fifty. Write it down. The next fifty-six times twenty. For that, six times twenty is one hundred and twenty. Fifty times twenty is one thousand. Write down. To find out the final answer, add these answers together. Forty-two plus three hundred and fifty plus one hundred and twenty plus one thousand. It is one thousand five hundred and twelve. The second one, fifty-six multiplied by twenty-seven. We have to multiply directly by twenty and by seven. Fifty-six multiplied by twenty is one thousand one hundred and twenty. Write in the first row. Then next, fifty-six multiplied by seven, three hundred and ninety-two. Write it down. Add the answers together. It is one thousand five hundred and twelve. The same answer we get. So fifty-six multiplied by twenty-seven is one thousand five hundred and twelve. This is the same questions from your workbook. Forty-six multiplied by twenty-six. Before doing the multiplication, you have to estimate your answer. For example, you can take the estimation uh, like one thousand or one thousand five hundred, one thousand one hundred, one thousand two hundred, anything. Forty-six multiplied by twenty-six. Do the multiplication in expanded return method. First, you have to multiply forty-six by six, then multiply forty-six by twenty. Forty-six multiply by six. Forty-six multiply by six is two hundred and seventy-six. Then forty-six multiply by twenty. Forty-six multiply by twenty is nine hundred and twenty. So you get the partial products. Add the numbers, add answers together. 
6 plus 0 is 6, 7 plus 2 is 9, 2 plus 9 is 11. So, you get the final answer 1196. You have some examples in your workbook page number 132, 133. Do all the questions and complete these pages.